Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, My So-Called Healthy Life. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Relax, calm your mind, calm your soul. Let's get centered for the day, okay? So for this month, or this, until we finish it, we are reading Pieces Every Step, The Path of Mindfulness in Everyday Life. Um, and I have to be really honest with you, I was reading some of the passages earlier, and they were a little boring to me. So I was like, you know what? Um, I am going to continue to read every day, but I may, if we start, if I find some that I don't love, I may skip a few of them. And today I'm going to skip the sitting meditation because it talks a lot in here. It's on page 16 if you're following along with me. It talks a lot about like cushions to sit on and the, how to sit and things like that. And being that I am not a meditation master, um, I would recommend to you if you want to learn a lot about that to go out and get this book or to go and, you know, go to the bookstore or Google like a basic how to meditate kind of book. Um, because I have, to be honest with you, that is not my expertise and I'm not going to get on this channel and claim that it is. But I do want to read these because I think that they're really, really helpful. So today I am going to read Bells of Mindfulness, which is on page 18. In my tradition, we use this temple bells to remind us to come back to the present moment. Every time we hear the bell, we stop talking, stop our thinking, and return to ourselves, breathing in and breathing out and smiling. Whatever we are doing, we pause for a moment and just enjoy our breathing. Sometimes we also recite this verse, listen, listen. This wonderful sound brings me back to my true self. When we breathe in, we say, listen, listen. And when we breathe out, we say, this wonderful sound brings me back to my true self. Since I have come to the West, I have not heard many Buddhist temple bells, but fortunately, there are church bells all over Europe. There do not seem to be as many in the United States. I think that is a pity. Whenever I give a lecture in Switzerland, I always make use of the church bells to practice mindfulness. When the bell rings, I stop talking and all of us listen to the full sound of the bell. We enjoy it so much. I think it is better than a lecture. When we hear the bell, we can pause and enjoy our breathing and get in touch with the wonders of life that are around us, the flowers, the children, the beautiful sounds. Every time we get back in touch with ourselves, the conditions become favorable for us to encounter life in the present moment. One day in Berkeley, I proposed to professors and students at the University of California that every time the bell on the campus sounds, the professors and students should pause in order to breathe consciously. Everyone should take the time to enjoy being alive. We should not just be rushing around all day. We have to learn to really enjoy our church bells and our school bells. Bells are beautiful and they can wake us up. If you have a bell at home, you can practice breathing and smiling with its lovely sound. But you do not have to carry a bell into your office or factory. You can use any sound to remind you to pause, breathe in and out, and enjoy the present moment. The buzzer that goes off when you forget to fasten the seatbelt in the car is a bell of mindfulness. Even non-sounds, such as the rays of sunlight coming through the window, are bells of mindfulness that can remind us to return to ourselves, breathe, smile, and live fully in the present moment. Um, I don't hear many bells on a daily basis, but I was thinking about this as I was reading it. Um, that is, a, there's a church that lives, that, that lives, there's a church that's really close to us. It's literally like three streets away. And every evening they play bells, like this bell song. And um, I love sitting on the front porch, drinking a cup of coffee and just listening to the bells and kind of rocking on my porch swing. Um, and that for me is very much like a moment of peace. I also know that, I don't know if in your town, but like I think it's 11 a.m. here for us. Um, the fire bells go off every day at 11 a.m. It's like just like an alarm check, which would for me be like a really good way to just kind of stay present. But if you're a teacher or a student and you work in school or you're on a school campus and there's a bell that goes off, maybe that would be a good time to practice some mindfulness. Or if there's anything that happens ritually throughout your day, um, that might also be a good time to do that. I think the other thing I may start doing is setting alarm at a certain time throughout the day and having it be a bell alarm. So when it goes off, it reminds me, <sighs> practice mindfulness. Most of us today have smartphones and we can do that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Anyway, do you guys like that? So tomorrow I will probably be reading either the tangerine meditation or uh, the eating mindfully because I love the eating mindfully when I remember that in here. So follow along with us. Peace is every step. I love you guys.
I'll talk to you later. Bye.